hey guys welcome back so uh, today in this video i am going to share one of the my best strategies that i am working on in forex trading that is uh, combining order flow with this ICT kill zones so with using this strategy i have recently uh, passed my funded next uh, the funding challenge and uh, by that you can easily confirm that okay we can uh, build a good strategies and we really make a good money on this using this strategy so uh, let me explain you that what is this ICT kill zones and how I am combining uh, with this strategy and what are the steps I need to take care okay. so first of all I am using this Asian session and uh, there is one thing that I always use I will not going to punch any trade uh, till uh, 10 30 Indian standard time so until and unless this kill zone will not going to form I'm not going to punch any trade so after that I'm after that what is going to happen I will get all those levels so these are the three levels are important this is the ICT kill zone Asian session uh, high and Asian session low and this is the 50 percent of vibration right so I don't know uh, there are many people are going to use this 50 percent ratio or not but I personally use this because it will give me uh, a good convictions about uh, uh, punching my trades or exiting from this uh, trade before it take the reversal uh, I'm I'm an intraday trader. I'm a scalper. I will not look into uh, big big targets. Uh, especially, I I will try to uh, take uh, the profits like one dash to one, one dash to two, one dash to three sometimes. So according these these are the my profit booking criteria, and this for that reason I was uh, uh, using this uh, fifty percent of this en entire session zone. So apart from that, these are the levels I I was using. So let me show you uh, the values for you guys. So I hope you can take the screenshot or write it down somewhere. So that is going to help you to uh, what's happening there you will get some idea so these are the retracement levels that i was plotted plotting below and above uh, that's uh, uh, minus 38 and uh, minus 618 above and below uh, the same values i was using uh, 1.38 and 1.68 these are the values that you can uh, add in your uh, uh, the ict kill zones and these ict kill zones were provided by this lux also you and uh, this is a completely free indicator you don't need to worry about anything and you just need to plot this ICT kill zones by uh, this Lux algo. so these are the values that I am using so what is this use of these values so let me explain it okay so where is my pen yeah so usually these ICT kill zones these levels will going to work like a supporter resistance for me and these lines will going to work like a, a rubber band it's a uh, it's like till how pressure the price was coming downside so it will going to uh, consume those and it will going to pump up towards a uh, upside and downside so again these lines will going to work like a, a pullback or you can say a rubber band uh, uh, strategies for me so so not only by simply watching these price actions i am initiating the trade no i will because i'm uh, handling the big money so for that reason what I'm going to do, I'm using this order flow to confirm what's really happening. Obviously, when, when you learn about these ICT kill zones, there's one thing to need, need to know about what's really happening behind those candlestick pattern. Obviously, ICT kill zones were especially famous for to identifying those, uh, uh, what do you call that, the, the bankers, algoas, and these are the levels where most of these algos were active. By simply looking into the candlestick, you cannot identify what's really happening. So rather than just simply uh, by closing your eyes, punching your order, that's will not going to happen. So we really look into the candlestick pattern and we will see what's really happening on this particular price. What kind of an volume you're punching? How does this price was closing? Where was the, the, the highest number or the volume you traded? So these are the things that you can combine with this order flow. So last time I made a one reel that you can combine this order flow with the any strategy. You can combine with these EMAs. You can combine with this uh, Ichumoku. So if you have a good grip on the super trend, you can combine with there. There, there is not only the one indicator or one trading style you can combine this order flow. There are plenty of order that will get it from anywhere. You just implement those things with this order flow. Order flow is a just one tool that is going to help you that where exactly the limit buyers and limit sellers or uh, the market buyers and market sellers and where where does they exactly they are punching their orders and how does it going to affect on these candles 
right so these are this is the thing that you need to keep in a eye or keep in a mind uh, before trading not simply just because i am getting a very great uh, uh, results from these uh, session or session zone or ict kill zone in the side i was using this order flow to combine the get the most accurate results so again uh, uh, this is not only one day it's work you know i i, I may show you the uh, so many uh, uh, trading history that it has given and we have took one risk to two one risk to three this is the place this is the place we have seen the price was taking a good support of the price and at the same price at the same time even the market was taking a good resistance then because the volume is also trading at this level with a very uh, great price right so again this is a five minute candle and uh, where where was the pullback so let me uh, divide this screen time so that you going to help me so again what is this date and this is the 13th of july 1 uh, o'clock so we'll go with this order flow so this is again uh, 13th of july somewhere around here we we'll get so many plenty of uh, opportunities while trading with this so this is somewhere yeah now you see guys how does this price we are acquiring those buyers and these are the market buyers they were punching and this is how they are controlling the price just simply Uh, i i know i know that the price action works but in a smaller time frame price action doesn't work you need to see what's really happening behind those candlestick pattern so just by simply saying uh, this is the doji and this is a hammer pattern and this is where i'm going to initiate the trade that doesn't work you if you are trading with is uh, real money right that the emotionals and the, you need a some good confirmation about the punching those trades look at how does volume we generated and in this candle in this fall red candle we have a highest volume we traded at this below and these all those those player were sitting there they were they were trying to uh, the limit buyers were trying to consume all those market sell orders and they were forming like this this is the reason i look at here the most of this volume were of uh, the red bar that indicates the sellers were punch more orders and still this candle was closing in this green obviously what is that meaning we have a buyers we have a limit buyers here is the this is the place where exactly we have a liquidity right this is a place where exactly we have a liquidity and just by combining these things and just look at how many opportunities we are getting if if completely you guys are facing a so many problem to identify where exactly price will come from where exactly the price will going to give a bounce either i need to place order there or i should wait for some more one, one more candle i should wait for one more confirmation so this confirmation will going to get it from this order flow so uh, this is exactly the thing that what i wanted to tell you because uh, if 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 you think that i was not making the money and uh, uh, this is the best certification that i can show you that the 15% of uh, the entire capital profit that i what i have generated and uh, i have shown there this is the profit that what i can generate and i can make a money by using my strategies so again uh, i just wanted to tell you that i will not punch order based on simple price action because i am trading with this my real money i just need a good confirmation for good confirmation i was using this order flow right so this is the strategy that i just wanted to tell you and there is one more thing if you are using um, what do you call that um, icd kill zones uh, i know uh, many of these indian people want to trade with this forex and uh, they have a uh, problem with selecting this price and uh, uh, trading zones and for what time uh, they need to trade first you need to decide when you will get a free right when you will get a free time to trade it's not like that you are, you are going to buy here you are going to keep your stop loss and you are going to place there uh, that could be your target no that's not how the market will not going to work that's a call the, that's that's kind of a strategy is will going to work in a swing trading that will give you the one of the best results but if you are trading somewhat using this uh, scalping and intraday trading so i do recommend of using this uh, kill zones first what you do you decide at what time you will get a free time to trade so this is this idea is only for those working professionals who, do, who they don't have a time to punch their orders and everything so what i will do in uh, usually I, i completely free in this morning and uh, i will wait till this uh, morning 10:30 till till 10:30 uh, i am trading in this uh, nse so indian stock market after that i am going to jump into this um, 
for its market and I'm going to try to punch my order here. So uh, after 10.30, I will be inactive or uh, very less trade. I'm going to punch in this NSE trades. Otherwise, most of the time I'm spending some time with this uh, Forex uh, instrument and Forex space. The, the, the point that what I wanted to tell you that. So if you have a got a good timing in this morning, uh, somewhere around uh, uh, 12.30 to uh, 1.30 to 2.30, if you have a good time, then use this session, session zone. If you are, if you'll get a free after three o'clock, and five o'clock then what i do suggest or uh, disable this asian session and uh, you can use only the london session right use this session you what you need to do you just need to wait until this candle will going to complete yes till uh, 15 30 you just need to don't need to punch any order so after that you will get these levels according to these levels what you need to do you just need to punch your order accordingly right so if you are someone who is completely get you, you will get a free after the night after seven or eight o'clock then what i would suggest you just uh, disable all this, you just enable only the New York uh, ICT kill zones. So after forming uh, ITC kill zones from uh, uh, around 1713 to uh, 1925, 1930, so you will get these levels, right? So after when you get these levels, try to implement your strategy when the price is going to come in towards the support or resistance if it is forming something. And if you need uh, some more confirmation using this order flow, then you can ping me and uh, we have a mentorship. If I don't want to uh, make a, some good uh, noise about this, but I will just give you my uh, telegram ID that you can ping me that. My telegram ID is uh, Siddhu uh, Gaddi. Uh, Gaddi. This is my telegram ID that you can ping me here. But the thing is what I just wanted to uh, make a confirmation that these are the levels and really the price will going to respect this level. And this is what I was trading on last uh, from uh, six to seven months, I was back testing a lot of things, and after that only I just got this funded account. Right? It's not like you have started uh, and you are bombarding all those nonsense things, and uh, the things will not go to work. See, how does this exactly those levels were working? The only one thing that you need to decide when you will get a free time. After that, you just need to use these uh, zones to uh, complete, and after that, you just need to look into those candlestick pattern and uh, need to punch your order. So this is the strategy that what I personally using by combining the ICT kill zones with this order flow, right? So uh, I hope this video was helpful for you to understand that you can combine this order flow with any any strategies. You can combine with super trend or you can combine with EMAs. That's all up to you, right? So this is all about today's video. I hope uh, you got some ideas about uh, combining the order flow uh, with these any different indicators. And I hope you can try try with these things these things with you with your uh, um, what do you call that your own strategies. I will, you will get some edge about uh, either you need to punch their order or not. I hope that will go to help you. Right. So thank you guys watching for this video. See you in this upcoming video. Thank you.